Drilling has started for a new nuclear energy project on the U of I campus. It marks the start of a research partnership between a tech company and the university, aiming to help the U of I meet clean energy goals. WCIA3's Peter Hansen is live in our newsroom. So, Peter, when will people start seeing results? Jennifer, it's a multi-step process that officials say will make a big difference years from now. Construction didn't start today, but instead drilling to collect the data on the future site of a micro reactor. Nano Nuclear Energy and U of I officials say it's to test out the technology for other markets down the road. Can we take this inherently safe reactor technology and package it in such a way that it can be widely deployable and revolutionize a world that is starved for clean, reliable power. It's a question U of I professors are hoping to answer as tech company Nano Nuclear Energy and the university move one step closer to adding a small scale reactor for research in Champaign. And the project doesn't mean huge nuclear silos will be coming to campus anytime soon either because the reactor itself will be miles and miles underground. There will be some complexes built up top here, but it's nothing that behind me is, is going to disrupt. It's going to look like it's just all put together. In fact, it'll look like this, but instead of generating more than 1,000 megawatts of clean electricity like the larger nuclear plant in Clinton, it will produce just 15 megawatts. It's the same type of concept, however, we're using new technologies. J.U. is the founder and chairman of Nano. He says their new micro reactors don't use liquid coolant, making the process safer. We're using pebble uh, based triso, so that is coated with, think of tank armor. So when you think of that, um, they, it doesn't mix chemically with the others. If it cracks, it doesn't explode. Um, it just passively cools into the environment of the, of, of the reactor. You says they applied through incentive programs to get nearly $7 million from the state for the project, and they're putting more than $12 million of their own into it as well, with the hope of creating hundreds of jobs. But he says they need data for a nuclear construction permit first. We'll apply for that, and hopefully within a year, year and a half, we'll be able to be approved, and then we'll be pouring concrete and steel here. You tells me he's looking at the second half of 2027 to start construction, and he hopes the reactor will be operating by 2030. Live in the newsroom, Peter Hansen, WCIA3, your local news leader. And we'll be watching it all along the way. All right, Peter, thank you so much.